Uh, unless you are a real Google Ads expert, I do not recommend Google search ads to go after lots of keywords, lots of high traffic. Hello and welcome, Miss Justin Brooke from AdSkills.com. And I have got a good one for you today. This company called Golden Hippo. It took me a while to even find their offers. I had to do some serious Google tricks, you know, Googling their footer codes and Googling press releases and news and things like that. And finally found two of their biggest brands. So we're going to dissect who they are, their brands. This is actually going to be a two-parter because I wanted to show two of their different brand major differences in the markets and stuff like that. So this is one of those those companies that lots of people are trying to reverse engineer. They're trying to find their offers and I found it for you and we're going to dissect them all. Let's jump in right now. All right. So this is their homepage. Not a lot to find here. This is their homepage. You'll find mostly just hiring information on here and about their company, the awards that they've won, you know, lots of really just hiring stuff. But then, you know, this is where I started stumbling onto them is uh, I found this page, Golden uh, Golden Pet Manufacturing. And I was like, is this Golden Hippo? And then as I started s scrolling down, I started finding the words Golden Hippo in here as well. Common employees. We see down here, Golden Hippo. They are part of, so these are the different branches of the Golden Hippo organization, I guess you, you could say. I mean, they're, they're large. Then I started finding out, okay, well, what are the Golden Pet Manufacturing products? And we land on Dr. Mori Pet. Okay. And so this is the first brand that we're going to look into. And so if you've been wanting to get into the pet market, pet foods, pet selling, accessories, all of that stuff, you know, this is going to help you find out what's working, what's not working. And so we see mainly their website is just a fairly standard e-com website, right? But we're going to dig in some more and see what their landing pages are, where they're driving their traffic to and what. And, and in part two, I'm going to show you another offer that's even bigger than this offer. So make sure you watch both parts of this series on Golden Hippo. All right, you know what we do. We're jumping into a similar web to find out their traffic. We've got 80,000 monthly visits, 51,000 unique pages per visit, about five and a half. Balance rate, 30% average visit duration, four and a half minutes. Uh, we see that compared to a few different, uh, the Chewy is huge, but they're marketing many, many brands. Maybe I'll do them in another one. Uh, top countries is United States. And then we'll look at their stack here. Now, here's the thing. Me knowing a bit of the history of Golden Hippo, Golden Hippo has been talked about for over a decade. You know? And so me knowing a bit of their history, I know that they're mostly affiliate driven. Yeah, you know, that's, that's just, you know, they're, they have some of the greatest offers. And if anything, one of their complaints has been that sometimes they see what great affiliates are doing and then they just start doing that. So be a little bit careful, but they are a good, reputable company, great, amazing offers, and most of of their marketing is done through affiliate channels and we do see a little bit of organic search we see a little bit of paid search here as well so we're going to go ahead and dive into some of their landing pages so their search ads and start to figure out what their actual strategy is we see their social traffic is broken down facebook youtube linkedin so we'll check out some of those pages as well all right let's jump into their search traffic Ninety-four thousand searches that's an interesting number because if we come back here their traffic was only what 60,000, 80,000. Okay. So, you know, you, you have to understand, you have to take this information with a grain of salt. There's a lot of guesstimation that's going on. None of this is exactly accurate. Uh, you know, it's not like we actually have uh, Google Analytics access to their websites. And so we see that they have 94,000 visits coming from organic search, 4,500 coming from paid, 16,000 backlinks from 2.9, so 2,900 uh, referring domain. Names. Looks like their traffic is on a, a, you know, not the biggest incline, but it is an incline. You know, so it, it's definitely growing. There's been some lumps. They've come back from those lumps. Looks like there was a bigger slump before. They're recovering back from that bigger slump. Then we'll go ahead and take a look at what is their breakdown. So we see heavily informational. So that means that they're going to be advertising on longer phrases, uh, you know, questions and, and learning type stuff. Not as much branded, but if you add both these together, that's almost 30%. Was that 20? Yeah, I mean, it is 30 
30%. 30% of their traffic is coming from commercial and transactional. And those are the coveted keywords. Those are the keywords that usually directly lead to a sale. These information ones are awesome for traffic, much easier to rank for, but it's not directly uh, related to a sale like commercial or transactional. Navigational is more like login, membership page, you know, affiliate program, stuff like that. So their competitors, 1-800-Whiskers, Jake's Pet Supply, the popping. All right, let's jump into their paid keywords first because that's usually faster. And then you know what I want to see is they're going to be brand search ads almost shortly. Yes, brand search ads. Dr. Marty Dog Food, Dr. Marty. Uh, they also got some toxic food for dogs. So here's a little bit of that informational stuff that we were talking about, informational keywords. So a lot of brand search. I see one that was informational. Yeah, more brand search, brand search, brand search, brand search. Nature's blend. No, that's still brand search. Nature blend dog food. So here's an informational one. So a couple of, let's go ahead and take a look at what one of their landing pages is like for this. All right. So this is going direct to an e-com checkout type of page. Let's go ahead and see if they got anything else. Let's go back up to that toxic foods for dogs. We'll check that one out. What do we got here? This is not a normal econ type of page. This looks like a design blending page. We got video, product, benefits, order uh, credibility, what makes it great. So we got benefits, features. Is this a sales page? This is a, a below sales. So what were they ranking for this? Oh no, these were paid ads. That's right. These were paid ads. Okay, so decent volume here, 5,400 searches per month for this thing. Uh, They're doing paid ads for this one. And this is one of their landing pages here. So definitely, probably one of their ones. If you want to make a swipe file, if you want to learn from them, if you want to get into the pet food market, this is probably a page that you're going to want to pay attention to and know more about. So what happens if we click order now? Does that take us to, oh, we buy right from here. Here we go. We see this 136 offer again. We talked about this with Organifi supplement products. Whatever you're selling supplement products, this good, better, best or 136 offer is usually the best type of offer you can do because if you were to buy one bag, you're only getting 30 bucks and it's probably going to cost you more than $30 to acquire a customer if they order the three bags and this one was defaulted to three bags now the customer is paying $85 and that $85 is going to help you with you know the cost to acquire a customer because you might be able to acquire the customer for 50 60 bucks and then you have some people who are going to buy the six bag offer and you're going to get that big old whopping cutter in 64. So very cool little landing page to discover. We see that their paid ad strategy is primarily brand search, but then they also have a little bit of informational keywords sprinkled in there. And that is what I recommend most people to do. You know, when it comes to paid search, really the primary thing you should be doing is brand search ads. And then you should have a couple of keywords that are make really make a lot of sense for your products, you know, and, and just try Drive some traffic with those. If not, uh, unless you are a real Google Ads expert, I do not recommend Google search ads to go after lots of keywords, lots of high traffic. You know, that's for if you have hire an agency or if you are, you have the time to really dedicate to learning the art of Google search ads. But most brands, most companies absolutely should Google search, you know, brand search ads absolutely should do one to five keywords that are very relevant for your products, driving them to a landing page as we saw. All right. Let's jump into their SEO here. We're going to jump into their organic keywords and start to see this was one of their bigger spikes of their traffic profile. So we're going to see what they're rent for, what their strategy might be. We see a lot of brand stuff, dog throwing up water. Let's go ahead and sort this by volume. And we see, okay. All right. Okay. So can dogs eat bananas? Can dogs eat watermelon? Can dogs eat pineapple? Can dogs eat have blueberries? Dogs the dull shed? Can dogs eat cucumbers? So they're going after this phrase and that makes sense, like, right? They're, they're a pet food brand. And so they're getting in front of people who are searching, can my dog eat this? You know, and there's all kinds of, can dogs eat avocado? Can dogs eat mango? Can dogs have cinnamon? Can dogs eat eggs? Can dogs eat cheese? Can dogs eat almonds? I mean, just over and over. Banana is good food for dogs. And you should know, this is important. Quick little teacher below it. This is a different keyword in the eyes of Google than uh, I saw it up here somewhere. I thought I saw it. Yeah. Can, can dogs eat bananas? Different keyword. 110,000 people searching that versus down here. Are bananas good for dogs? Only 27,000 people searching that. So same question, 
So you can probably have a very similar, yeah, they, they actually have the exact same paint. We see this slash can dogs eat bananas slash can dogs eat bananas. So they're ranking for both terms of that. All right. Uh, so yeah, we pretty much found their strategy. It's it's pretty. Uh, I don't know why Rainbow Bridge poem. I hope that I gotta I gotta go to see what this Rainbow Bridge. That's like a weird keyword. Oh, the daily. Oh, okay. Rainbow Bridge poem is a poem about losing a pet. Okay, so cool little, uh, you got to really know your market to, to start ranking for stuff like that and bring people into your market. So mainly their strategy is ranking for the meeting stuff, but they have a bunch of blog posts about what your dogs can and cannot eat. Makes sense for a dog food brand. Moving on, we've got AdBeat. We don't see a lot of spend in AdBeat. You got to remember that this is primarily an affiliate marketing company. And so that's one of the reasons why it's so hard to find information about them because a lot of it is just affiliates promoting them. So we'll go down here. We'll take a look at some of their top ads. We see this looks like a retargeting ad. We'll go ahead and check out their landing page. Same page, I think, as we saw that other one. Yeah, same exact page. So this is this is a main landing page for them. That they're driving their paying traffic to. Definitely something to make note of, keep track of. Let's see if we can find any more ads. Uh, we see this Dr. Morty one. Looks like kind of a text ad. These all look like remarketing ads. This one might not be a remarketing ad. Let's see if this goes to a different page. Yeah, this one's going to uh, Nature's Blend. Is this like a lead gen offer? You know, we see coupons, $4 off. Okay, you know, people think I'm crazy about offering the discount codes and whatnot, but we see again and again, biggest brands using discount codes as acquisition as, we, as lead gen. I'm not crazy, guys. All right, nothing much really to see in AdBee, so we're going to jump over to social media, and we're going to see... I, I left it on here. I didn't go straight to their YouTube channel like I do with a lot of my other ones because there wasn't much there, but I wanted you to see that this is primarily affiliate-driven, uh, and so we see this one was huge, all right? They were on Martha Stewart, 333,000 views. Dr. Marty's on there. Uh, and then we see a a lot of people doing reviews of their products so I, i'm assuming a lot of these people there's probably some that are just you know youtubers vloggers that are just doing you know re reviews because that's what they do but some of these are going to be affiliates for sure we see a lot of them uh, talking about dr marty we'll go ahead and check out his channel really quick not a whole lot to see there but i like to click videos and then okay so because there's only six it's not giving you the little tab to show like latest and most popular but we'll just look here. Most popular is going to be this one. Six and a half thousand views. No, we got this one. 58,000 views. So that was probably one of their ads that they're showing. And then we see this one here. I'm not going to play them. Already got one of my videos removed uh, for playing ads on this on these videos. We'll go ahead and look at Instagram. And yet again, we see, okay, so YouTube three and a half thousand subscribers right 3.4 uh, then we go over to instagram forty six thousand followers we go over to twitter 791 followers so instagram a huge spot yet again and we're seeing this trend over and over again with the bigger companies the successful brands they're all using instagram in a major way i would say that you should do the same so we see pictures of dogs with the products not a ton of engagement i mean for 46,000 followers, you think we see a little bit more engagement on some of these things. 75, 63. Here we go. We got a big one here. I'm not going to play That's a video. I'm not going to play that. Uh, probably one of their ads that they've boosted. Here's one, Dr. Marty talking about the product. So looks like pictures of dogs with the product is their main strategy. Probably a lot of uh, ads have been run through here because I don't see a lot of posts. Uh, don't see a lot of engagement. So that's really indicative that they're probably just using this profile for ads. And then we see Dr. Morby Pets on Instagram. Again, we see a discount code right here at the top. Use cold code social25. The reason they're doing that is so that they can track that the trap that these sales came from social media and they can start, you know, quantifying their followers, all that stuff. So Another smart reason why to use discount codes and promo codes for tracking uh, that is baked in. You can't refute that tracking. So 25% off we see here. Not a whole lot to see. Only 700. We see the same thing as they're doing on Twitter. Is uh, their dogs with the food. 
uh, testimonials, dogs with the food. That's what we see here. So that is Dr. Marty. And in the next video, I'm going to be revealing Gundry MD, which is one of their biggest brand, maybe the biggest brand of Golden Hippo, almost a household name. This is a, this is a brand that a lot of people have heard about in the health circle. So we're going to be talking about this. Just wanted to recap real quick on drmartypets.com the first offer that we talked about from golden hippo their strategy was primarily affiliates right we saw lots of youtube review videos we saw their seo strategy was a blog with lots of different things can dogs eat this can dogs eat that can dogs eat this or not you know so that was their seo strategy then we saw that they were going after a fairly big keyword, toxic foods for dogs. That's kind of similar to their SEO strategy. They were going after that keyword with 5,400 searches per month with a dedicated landing page, full-on sales page type of landing page. And that, in a nutshell, is Dr. Marty Pets. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about Gundry MD, one of the largest Golden Hippo offers. And those are going to be a lot to see in there. So make sure you watch that video too. All right, I'm Justin Brooke from Has Skills. See you later.